And uh, I tell you what, tonight I'm going to give this uh, to some, to one of you who are here tonight. We'll figure out some kind of way. We'll we'll draw straws, or y'all probably have no idea what you know what draw what drawing straws is. Sure, that's right. You got it. I didn't know if anybody ever drew straws. I'll teach you how to count potatoes sometimes. But uh, that's the way that works. Too. This is uh, just little wooden blocks that are put together. The only attachment that they have to each other is a ribbon. And the ribbon is really not glued to it or except at the ends. Just at that end and this end. And it runs in two stripes on one side and one stripe on the other all the way down. Just like that. And what I want to be talking with you today is, is we are thinking about our nation's freedom today and our, our independence as Americans. We're free. You know, a lot of people, it's against the law to have a church. They can't, they can't get together a church. Now watch this. I'm just going to tip that over like that. And it looks like the block falls all the way down through and passes through the blocks. You see, this one's green. So when I tip it like that, it just looks like the green one click, click, clicks and, and falls. But it's not. The, the blocks are just flipping over. I used to use this to illustrate Jacob's Ladder. I like the story of Jacob's Ladder at the bottom. But if you like this, I want to give this away to somebody tonight. It's just one of those things I look at. There are a few other things that you can do with it. Uh, but I, I just want to show we're all connected uh, as citizens. You know, and, and also as Christians, we're connected to each other. It's important to understand that everything you do, uh, every decision you make, every choice you make, it affects everybody around you. One of my favorite stories they play it every year at Christmas and New Year's is called It's a Wonderful Life. It's a movie that was directed by Frank Castle. And uh, Jimmy Stewart, was a famous actor of, of my era, that he played the main part in. And he was having a rough time. He was having a very difficult time and some serious problems. And they were so serious that one day he just said, I wish I had never been born. And so an angel showed up, an angel named Clarence, and gave him the opportunity to see what the world or what his little town would be like if he had never been born. And it was, it was really different. As a matter of fact, a lot of bad things happened because George never existed. Everything you do, every song you sing, every job you take, every decision you make, it always affects other people. Sometimes people will say, well, I did this, but it was just me and it didn't affect anybody else. And so I just did it because I wanted to. Well, it's a very selfish way to look at anything because if you've ever dropped a pebble in the water and see all the waves go out in circles, well, that's the way we are with everything we do. We're connected just like these blocks are. And every time you do something, it flips everybody else. Sometimes it just flips them out. It just, it just makes them blow their mind. Now, so think about that because when you're making up your mind as to what to do or making a decision or you're trying to choose, Realize this is not just me. This affects people around me. And believe me, if you had never been born, and if you two had never been born on the same birth date, the world would be different. Our families would be different, and our church would be different. And whenever we have church and you're not here, I miss you. And I look around and I say, where's Aaron at? Fishing. And I call up Aaron and I say, Aaron, I heard that you went fishing instead of going to church. He said, that's a lie. I got to fish to prove Actually, that joke I mentioned, it was supposed to be something like, uh, I accuse you of uh, sleeping in late. You say, no, I didn't sleep in late. I had a fish to prove. But everybody laughed, and so they were supposed to at the appropriate place anyway. Even, my jokes are funny even when you mess them up. All right. Thank you, folks. Think about that. And I'm so glad to be connected to you. All right? Thank you, Brother Ronnie. Leave us in some more good singing. 